a recent report published by the Children's Alliance finds over half of Washington kids experience anxiety or depression. That data has parents and educators seeking solutions to support students' mental health. Author and counselor Jim Price joining us live with some tips before the kids head back to school here soon. Hi, Jim. Hello, how are you doing today? A blessing to be here. Good, we're glad you're Good here. Morning, can you give us a quick overview of the youth mental health crisis in schools? Maybe talk about the trends that you're seeing right now. Yeah, so I mean, I think the biggest trend you see is an uprise in like depression and anxiety. Um, kids are seeing like they're, you know, and also the, the uprise in kids being administered medications and things that are primarily for adults. And then you see that, how that impacts the learning in terms of when they come to school, um, sometimes that leads to non-expression of their feelings and things and shutting down and things of that nature. So you see a lot of this anxiety and depression that is um, on, the, on the rise. And I mean, it's, it's definitely something I see day in, day out and talk to students about and try to help them navigate those um, avenues of their depression and anxiety, you know, of whether it's stemming from home, school, and, or wherever environment they're coming from. Yeah, it's really alarming to hear that, especially as a parent myself. So you've written your own book series called Adventures of Harold from the Hood. What's the message behind the series in these books? So the message behind the series is about children learning through literacy, um, diversity, and inclusion. And so there's a lot of lessons within the stories, um, such as accepting others' differences, um, learning healthy eating habits, exercising properly, things of that nature. So those are all things that help with mental health, because, you know, exercise is good for mental health. When you're eating right and eating healthy, that can help with mental health. And also just learning to be around other people and interact socially um, can help with mental health either as well, you know? What's your advice for supporting students' mental health during this back-to-school season? I think one of the things is um, coming into school year, you can think of it as a new start. So a lot of kids, whatever was gone in the previous year or whatever, that's forgotten. This is like a brand new slate, a brand new start for kids to be able to build on. So if they were making poor decisions in the past, last school year or whatever, that can be the goal to make better choices in this school year. Also being able to learn from setbacks and stuff as well um, when they're dealing with things and use those as teachable moments for the kids to learn and grow. Um, remind your children that you're there for them um, and that they can be able to express their feelings and needs and feel comfortable and do check-ins with your kids and learn when to seek professional help for kids if they're dealing with anxiety and depression. If you see changes in their behavior and things of that nature, then it's probably good to try to seek professional help in those situations. Do you find that it's hard for parents to start these conversations with their kids? Yeah, a lot of kids are shut down. I see that all the time where I think that's a big thing where kids feel like they're not being listened to. And I always support that, listening to kids. Sometimes it's not always about trying to reprimand and things like that. It's that they need a voice and be wanting to be heard and listened to. And I find I incorporate that in a model of my strategies in terms of dealing with kids who are dealing with anxiety and depression. It's taking time to actually listen. And you'll hear kids say that, like, I, I just, nobody's hearing me. Nobody's listening to me. So I find that to be one of the big key points in, in terms of trying to deal with kids who are dealing with mental health issues as well. Mm -hmm. All right, really quickly, where can our viewers go if they want to get a copy of your books? Um, my books are now on Amazon, um, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, all online. Um, I also sold in e-books, and I also do um, teach, you know, read out louds and stuff like that, speaking engagements and stuff. So I would love to connect with educators in the Seattle area, and, you know, we can tackle this issue together in terms of helping our youth to be the best versions of themselves. Love it. Jim Price, thank you so much for your time this morning.